Hello friends, welcome to the new session of Oracle SQL and PL SQL tutorials for beginners. In this tutorial, we are going to see about round of function in Oracle SQL. In this round of function, uh, we have uh, two methods. So first method is round of number. We can pass the number as the input. Obviously, we will get number as the output. The second method is round of date. So in this method, we will pass date as input and obviously we will get the date as output. We will see each method in detail. First, we will see about round of number function. The round of number function returns a number rounded to certain number of a decimal places. If suppose I wanted to round a number with certain point of decimal, then in this case, we can use round of number function. The round of number function as it is applies to number, so obviously it will return numeric values. Next, we will see the syntax of round of number function. The syntax is round of number is, num is nothing but the value or input you are passing and the decimal places. So up to what decimal you wanted to round. And this decimal places is uh, an optional uh, input. Either you can, you can pass or you can skip. Based on your requirement, you can pass or this skip the parameter. Next, we will see the round of date function. The round of date function returns a date rounded to a specific unit of measure. So, like round of number function, it is returning the number or the numeric as an output. A similar way, the round of date function is returning a date as output. Next, we will see the round of date function syntax. Similar to the round of number function, we have round of date as an input and the format which we are passing in the parameter. We will see for each round of number function and date function example so that you will get a clear idea. First, we will see the example for round of number function. If you take this example, in this example, I have passed around of 125.315. As I mentioned, this decimal point is an optional uh, parameter. Either you can specify or you can skip. In this example, I have not provided any decimal optional uh, input. So when I run this query, obviously, Oracle will check the first decimal. So if it is uh, below 5, obviously, it won't, it won't uh, round it off it will return only 125. When you run this query, you will get the result as 125. If you see the second as an example, in this example, I am passing decimal value as 0. Even when you run this query, Oracle will not consider the decimals and it will return the output as 125. If you take this third example, I have not specified any input decimal like the first example but if you see the first decimal value it is greater than 5 when you try to round off this value oracle will round it off this value with the numeric value so we will get 126 as an output so when the decimal value first decimal value is greater than 5 the numeric value will get automatically rounded off so when you run this query you will get the output as 126 Next, take this fourth example. If you see, when you, we have here three as an decimal value, starting decimal value. I want to round up to first decimal value. So when I run this query, obviously I'll get 125, 125.3. If you take uh, this five as an example, I want to round till to second decimal. If you see the first decimal, the next decimal is 1, it is less than uh, 5 and in this case I want to round it off till second decimal. If I take this second decimal, the next value is 5, so which is greater than or equal to 5. So when I run this query, obviously this will return 3 and this 1 will be rounded off to 2 because this third character is greater than or equal to 5. When I run this query, obviously we will get a result as 0.32. And similarly, when you pass a negative value in the numeric value, you will get an output as the negative value. 
similar way the same result you will get with the negative sign that's all this is how the round of number <coughs> next we will see some example for round of date function so i have two parameters with the month and year in the date example so if you take a month as an example so it will round off on the 16th day of month if you see my first query i have 15th day of the month which is passed as input so when i run this query obviously it will be date so when i run this query the first day of the month is 1st of august since it will round up a 16th day of the month so that we are getting the current month first date so first when you run this second query you will get the next month of the first day so we are passing 16th august 2023 so we will get the very next month is september so we will get the output as 0109 2023 that's all so this is example for month in this example if you pass 0 to jan 24 as an example obviously you will get first jan as an output in the similar query if you pass 25 jan 24 you will get similarly second feb as an output if you take uh, this year as an example, Oracle will. So if you pass Jan to May, you will get the first day of the particular year. So here I am passing 01 May 2023. So when I run this query, Oracle will round off to the current year first day of the first month. So we are getting output as 0101 2023. Similar way, if I pass any value with starting with July, Oracle will round the next year first day of the first month. So we will get 0101 01, as an output. If you pass June, obviously we will get the current year first month of first day of in the output. So up to 1st Jan to 31st June, you will get the current year's first day. So if you fast any date, 1st July to the December end, you will get next day, next year's first date. So this is how the date function is working. That's all dear friends. I hope uh, the video is clear enough. If you have any doubt on this topic, you can uh, leave a comment in the comment section. If you like my videos, please do subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.